Um, now and then a poem kind of comes to me sometimes the day before I know I need to speak. And um, actually this morning I woke up and a poem was in me and I wrote it down. Um, I went through foster care, but I was not adopted necessarily. I was called an aged out youth. So I kind of just went through the whole system of moving to different placements and trying to navigate and figure out as I am still growing and learning you know, it's been about maybe five years since I've been out of the system. And I realized that I'm still learning new things. I'm still learning to integrate parts of me that I felt were still back there in the past and how to integrate this so I can, you know, create something more deeper into my future. And um, this is what has came out of me. So this is called stripped essence of flowers stripped away by hands of kin cloth removed of my dignity for my rights to be what is my name wherefore is my sight when what i believe should have been hands of embrace tight nestled hugs turned into infinite wars Porplexed by new haunting territories of placements, shelters, group homes. I can't recognize who is real or false when every face isn't recognizable to me. There's people talking at me, then with me. Every move I make is now written in some log, a report, a log. I'm an incident waiting to happen. I'm an entertainment show dog in courtrooms where they pick us up early in big white vans and slap on plastic with bar colds on our wrist. I'm another number marked. X hits the spot and I'm hitting everything in my sight. I'm running away from every conditioned rule. They tell me when to wake up, when to eat. Sometimes feed me food that I don't want to eat or can't eat. Can't learn to cook, cameras on ceilings, locks on refrigerators, doors and windows, bars around them with alarms. Sign in and sign out sheets marking my time of when I'm present and not because who'd notice me. Don't be too late, but if I'm too early, then I might just get into a fight. I'm looping around sheep in my head at night. Quiet, calm came with loud strangers just like me my same age lost in this systematical sea where hands strip us of our rights to be and eyes on us don't always see what I see. See, as these strange people ask me, why are you so angry? <laughs> well, my anger, my rage is the only thing that shows in the exhaustion of explaining of justifying my existence to be. I want to shake them and ask them to wake up because my reality is no dream. I've seen so much in over 30 moved placements. I've seen too many voices change and images to count. I can't explain the ripping of my heart each time I thought I found my one, my seeker, a seeker, an unconditional human who noticed me for me but somehow I always get forced to leave them. I moved from them, from a light I'd seen. How do you explain a feeling such as this? How do you keep talking about the same thing that matters so much to you, but aren't important enough to grant me the rights to be? It's like pulling amazing flowers from a field of a garden. Would you then want to walk through the garden? Would you pay to see tulips bloom, then all of them be plucked to the ground as if it took no time to nurture them or care for them? Well, that's what my garden has been, deserted and droughted. I'm just one more paperwork away from being somebody. See, I thought I was a tulip or some kind of magnificent flower, but I kept being plucked like a weed. Like we're all just garden full of weeds in this DCFS garden. Pay your tickets, please, and donate to walk through the garden of make-believe. Put me up for show. I'll be your tokenized poor child award. Dress me up right and make sure to calm all the kinks out of my bushy hair. Put on my earrings and make me up. Make me worthy of being seen.
by somebody. Put me on stage and twirl me around. I'll be your main entertainment attraction, but please don't have me speak. Don't ask me of the haunting things I have to go back to once this show is done. Once you take off your pretty dress, the lipstick, and I undo hours of getting my hair to look presentable for the cause, then who am I? You go back to your expensive wine and trips to Cabo, and I will go back to my dreams of just surviving being me. I got my 20 minutes of fame, and I felt actually so pretty. But the reality was no one once thought to care to ask me, where do I go back to? It's just faceless distractions I input, I output. I sit here undone, stripping off clothes like they're not my own, claiming I have it like that when I really don't claim this body at all, just another act. At night, she's an affiliated reflection who has no, no idea of her existence in this world at all. And when she struggles to pull, she forfeits it all because every group home is another gamble, a play at her hopes and her inner dreams to have someone to love her be forfeited. They're playing with our feelings like a game of chess and every child is wanting to see if they'll be the willing king or queen or just another piece in this game. Another flower plucked from a potential garden, thrown into an abyss, a sea of unknown, of things burned down, trees. Everyone has a suggestion for me but can't be a part of me because I am not someone's comfortable reality. Small talk conversations or uncomfortable connections. So where are you from? Are you doing something for the holidays? Did you do something on Mother's Day? Where's your father? Did he teach you this? Where did you grow up? What are your personality types? Do you have a childhood friend? What are your traditions? Do you have childhood photos to show? And no. And no matter how much work I do on myself, these small conversations always have a little sting to them. A small memory follows me and I breathe. And I just remember to breathe. Breathe in the flowers that you pass by and all their essence to never be stripped through their cries. Please breathe. Please just remember to grieve.